Hello and welcome. Today I'm talking about the mechanics of Blazing Salvo. To answer a question, is this the best new mind skill or is it hot garbage? Now, I've talked to a lot of people who have played the skill and I've heard very mixed things. Some people think it's pretty good. Other people have had very bad experiences. The one very consistent thread is most of the people who think it's good have played it as a minor. Most of the people who have had bad experiences have played either self-cast, cast on critical strike, or some other variant in between, which is to say one person played cast while channeling. Please don't be that person. Personally, I league started Poison BV. I did this because I wanted something that was safe, consistent, tanky enough to get to maps without dying a ton, and reliable. And it was absolutely all of those things. If I'd continued to min-max it, I'm sure it would have scaled very well with investment. But I'm just not the biggest fan of the playstyle. I like BV overall, but I much prefer the hit-based enemies explode, everything on the screen just dies kind of BVs to the poison variant. So recently, I re-rolled my character. I spent around 10 exalts on all my gear, and I re-rolled to Blazing Salva Minor. I really wanted to try this. I haven't yet gone all the way and specced into split shot. The main reason for that is I wanted to try out Glacial Cascade as well, and realistically most of the gear is very much the same between what I'm doing for Glacial Cascade and between what I'm doing for Blazing Salvo. So it's not 100% optimized, but how does it feel so far? Well, single target wise, actually pretty good. I did some testing with a friend, and I looked at the various hit counts from various support gems. I had him put on Herald of Agony, Volkers, and Poison Support. This means that his Blazing Salvo had a 100% chance to poison, so I could count the poison stacks on myself in PvP and use that as a measure of overlap. Now, unfortunately, testing with a high-level gem wasn't possible, because, as it turns out, a high-level Blazing Salvo gem does a lot of damage, enough damage to kill me. So instead, we were testing with a low-level gem. Problem with a low-level gem, it doesn't have as many projectiles. So he was using LMP support. This means that overall our tests were not entirely equal to a level 20 or 21 gem, but with the seven total projectiles, it was good for establishing roughly how many fall on target out of a pretty moderate projectile spread. And I figure that having that little extra bit of leeway of there's one more projectile that probably will hit, but may not, is good to account for the variance because if the enemy's moving, that changes the overlap. If the enemy's by a wall, that changes the overlap. If you're out in the open versus a narrow space, or if you throw the mine too close to the enemy instead of at a more medium distance, or too far instead of at a more medium distance, that also changes the spread. The basic end result that we found was throw mines at a medium distance, don't throw them too close, don't throw them too far. Try to avoid open spaces if you can instead hit an enemy against a wall. And finally, GMP is not particularly good for DPS. It adds a lot of overlaps, but it costs you damage instead of adding damage per, and so ultimately it wasn't much more damage than what a 5 link would pan out to be. Similarly, Ink AoE did not really increase the damage noticeably at all, and Conch Effect didn't noticeably reduce the overlaps by a lot. They were reduced by a very, very small percentage, but it was under 10%. So I think if you want a single target link, you are fine using Conk. As a result of all this testing, I've come up with a theoretical setup for my miner. It is using Snake Pit instead of Fork Support. I am considering whether or not I'm going to be anointing something like Tranquility or something like Split Shot, as Split Shot should average one additional overlap per throw, or possibly a little more as I was getting about 2.5 extra poison stacks on me when Fork was used as opposed to not. Once I pick up Split Shot, I may do further testing with that to confirm if it actually adds DPS. The link setup that I've come up with is Blazing Salvo, High Impact Mind Support, Charge Mind Support, Inspiration Support, Combustion Support, and then finally the Wild Card slot, which I feel like is probably going to either be Awaken Increased Area of Effect for coverage, because AoE does increase coverage, even if it doesn't increase single target overlaps by that much, Immolate Support, because it's a very neutral option, Controlled Destruction, because it is also a very neutral option, or finally Conk Effect, because I believe that will be the highest single target DPS. I think the jury is still out on Dying Sun. I don't have one currently because I managed to accidentally wise up balance my gear, and I'm a little loath to give up the defenses because I'm still using a Prism Guardian and I feel a little bit squishy. When I have better gear, when I'm a full ES on block build, then I'm going to definitely try out Dying Sun and see if the projectiles from that feel worthwhile, 
I'm also going to be trying to get a plus one proj enchant. So far, there have been none on the market though. So just for my testing right now, and this is about 24-ish hours worth of testing as of when this video goes live, how do I feel about it? I think the single target is excellent. The clear has good damage. The coverage is maybe not perfect because of the way the mines aim and the clustering. I found it to be a little hit or miss in terms of leaving that one annoying enemy. The specific style of miner that I've gone for is a fairly fast one because the heists themselves heavily punish standing still. So I went with charged mines, I went with a very high throw speed. Overall, that feels pretty good. And of course, the big question is, should you play Blazing Salvo mines? Is it a good idea or are you better off rolling some other kind of miner? And I think I can't fully and definitively answer that yet. I can't say that Blazing Salvo is the best mine skill that I've ever played. But I do think it can be competitive, and I do think it's worth exploring. Because most mine builds are very similar, if you are also curious about Blazing Salvo, play it. Give it a shot. Worst case scenario, it sucks, and you play Glacial Cascade, or you play Purifying Flame, or you play Ball Lightning. Of those, I've heard Glacial Cascade clears well, lacks some single target, Ball Lightning honestly looks pretty fine, you just have to use Sniper's Mark to make up for the single target. And Purifying Flame is excellent, I think it's probably still the strongest mine skill in the game. I think it still plays most smoothly out of everything. But I do think Blazing Salvo has the potential to be competitive. Now, one thing I have noticed that can be very awkward with Blazing Salvo is because the mines target the enemy and not you, it can feel a little bit wonky when clearing packs, and I find I'm often overthrowing as a side effect of that, where realistically, with the amount of projectiles I have and the damage that I have, I should probably be throwing maybe twice, but I'll throw three or four times just to make sure all the enemies are targeted and the entire pack is dead. This is what I would say is the greatest weakness of Blazing Salvo so far from my experience. Remember, the coverage does increase with AoE even if a number of overlaps on a single target do not, so in that regard, as I'm using Conk Effect some of the time, I am hurting my damage. I may try an Awakened Ink AoE, it's just a little expensive for me to buy for testing purposes right now. There's a lot of options that you can use instead though. It may be that ultimately, this is what I go with. I just have to experiment more with it, as there's a lot to explore here. I don't think the skill is as mechanically interesting as something like Penance Brand, but I do think it is a good skill and I'm very glad it was added to the game. I'll leave my POB down in the description below. Feel free to check it out, feel free to play it for yourself. Also, I'll be streaming a lot of my gameplay. You'll see it featured in future videos as I continue to play the character. So you're going to find out one way or another whether or not I stick to Blazing Salvo or whether I ultimately reroll. My question for you is, what has your experience with Blazing Salvo been so far this league? Are you playing it as a miner or are you playing it as something else? And if you haven't tried Blazing Salvo, does it look interesting to you? Or are there any other newer reworked skills that do look interesting? I've been hearing a lot of hype for various things. Personally, I am not on the discharge train at all, and I keep hearing mostly negative things about Crackling Lance, so I'm probably going to avoid that as well. But at some point, I will be trying Hex Blast because I think the concept's really cool, and I want to try some sort of Eye of Malice build where I really nuke enemy cold res and just blast them. I'd love to hear your thoughts on all this in the comments below. And thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, consider subscribing and ringing the notification bell so that you can see whenever I upload. That way, you don't miss the next time that I take a skill and spend a lot of time and a lot of money digging into why it works the way it does or if it works at all.
And if you want to support me so that I can keep making videos just like this one, you can do so for as low as $1 a month, either by clicking the join button or the membership link down in the description below. When you join the channel, you will gain access to some perks and you will know that you've helped me to continue making videos like this for people like you. Thank you again, and as always, stay sane, Exile.